Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Prehistoric Speculation, where today there has been a new picture posted in Hype Up Season for Jurassic Club Dominion, the film. I haven't really covered uh, anything to do with the film yet, but this was an exciting image. It showcases two new dinosaurs that will be added to the film, and yeah, so let's get into it. So this image was leaked via Amazon on a product listing. These two images were shown, and since it's been found, it's been spread all over Twitter. Quite a few of the original posts have been deleted, but the images are still fairly easy to find. I'm sure they'll be up, uh, on screen now anyway. So yeah, this image shows some beautiful renderings of the T-Rex, the Velociraptor, the Atrociraptor, as someone corrected me in the last video, I thought it was Deinonychus, but no, this is the Atrociraptor, and what is suspected to be the Coronasaurus, or it could be some sort of Biosyn parasol office, but I am leaning towards Coronasaurus. So, let's get into these designs. The Coronasaurus is looking very cool. It's very scientifically accurate to what the Parasaurus office would look like. It's a lot less like the Jurassic World and Jurassic Park Parasaurus office design. It's a lot more realistic. It's quite cool. It's got like a little skin flap but on the crest, which is what is leading a lot of people to assume it's a Coronasaurus instead of a Parasaurus office from Biosyn. I am in the optimistic part of this and believing it's a coronasaurus uh but a lot of people do just think it'll be a biosyn redesign but either way it'll be very cool to see in the film and later down the line when it's added in a dlc to jurassic world evolution 2 which i have a video on by the way if you want to go check that out uh you'll be finding it on my channel page it'll be a couple videos down but yeah i really like the design it's quite brown however the design of the actual model is quite nice itself it's got a nice crest the limbs are quite nice it looks almost lamb it looks sheepish actually which is quite nice and yeah it's just a beautiful look at the new dinosaur i'll be really interested to see if this is biosyn and what other new biosyn designs we'll be seeing because it'd be really awesome if like they're in the jurassic world dominion dlc that there's actually maybe a bio, a little biosyn campaign that's added where you run your own biosyn park with however many creatures were shown. That would be incredible to see. That's something I've sort of wanted for a while. So yeah, that would be nice to have if that is added. Um, But yeah, along with seeing the Coronasaurus, we also see the Atrociraptor. This is something we've seen before, but this is the red Atrociraptor, which is looking very cool. It's, it's very similar to the Velociraptor. However, it is different in distinct ways. It has a lot, it has a different head shape and that sort of stuff. I wish they went in a more feathery direction or something with it instead of literally just making it pretty much the Velociraptor design at the moment. From what I've seen, it does look like they're, in the plot, there's going to be an anti-raptor squad, which is going to be the Atrociraptors, which is interesting. I don't know how you feel about that, but yeah, the fact that there's going to be an anti-raptor squad is just a bit tacky to me almost. I don't know, but yeah. I do like the design for it, and I'll be excited for when it comes in Jurassic Evolution 2. As you know, if you've watched this channel before, that's sort of what I specialise in, but I did think I'd cover this as it's two new dinosaurs from Jurassic World Dominion that could be added in to Jurassic World Evolution 2, sort of. That makes sense from my logic. We also get to see another image of the Allosaurus and the Carnotaurus that will be in Jurassic World Evolution. No, Jurassic World Dominion, sorry. I'm so used to saying Jurassic World Evolution now. But in Jurassic World Dominion, the, that is the adult Allosaurus design, which is nice to see. So if we do get a design in Jurassic World Evolution 2, it should be this Allosaurus design and not the one from the first film for the juvenile. This is the Battle of Big Rock design, as you probably know. The Carnotaurus on the left is very similar to the first film um, and the first game. However, the skin is a bit darker. I do really like the dark skin. I think that would be quite cool if that was maybe the default Carnotaurus in the first game, if defaults even exist anymore. If that was the default skin in Dress or Evolution 2, because that would be very interesting. But yeah, overall, I really do like all the designs. They're all quite nice. There's not much you can really say. They're Jurassic World film designs, so no issue with them. They're all going to be very polished and very nice. It'll be cool to see them a bit more action in a trailer maybe later in November at some point but yeah thank you for watching i really hope you enjoyed if you have please leave a like and subscribe it really does help me out and thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye